forewarn weather with cutting edge technology for the most up to the minute forecast in southeast Michigan. Ron's here to uh, chat more about the weather. I can't think Sorry, of a better day. Sorry, I was about day. to cut you off. <laughs> you got really oh, excited yeah, yeah. about the I'll let you finish, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just going to be quiet. All right, Ron. <laughs> Well, uh, there's a lot of excitement here, and I think people who like the hot weather are going to mm -hmm. be excited. That includes you, Will. Uh, Pamela, I don't know how you're going to like 90-degree weather. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> as long as I can keep the windows open for the earlier part of the morning, the 90, I guess, is okay with me. Well, so the good thing is we aren't going to probably hit 90 just quite yet, but it's going to feel like 90 out there as we go into tomorrow because we do see the temperatures going up. We also have the humidity going up a little bit as well. So here's a look into downtown Detroit from Windsor. You can see that it is a very calm day. A lot of sunshine across the area. We bring in those temperatures and you'll see that many of us are right around 80 degrees and we're seeing temperatures updated in real time. 80 in Howell and in Ann Arbor, 81 in Pontiac and at Metro Airport, as well as in Mount Clemens, Detroit. On the east side, we're holding on to 82 degrees, slightly cooler as you go into Essex County. Now, what are we seeing when it comes to the cloud cover? Satellite doesn't show anything. It is very sunny out there. We don't have any rain anywhere around lower Michigan either. What we do have, though, some changing conditions on the way. It's not going to stay sunny through the entire weekend. We do start to see some clouds rolling as we get into tomorrow. So here is the clouds and radar forecast. This is fast forwarding almost 24 hours into about this time tomorrow evening. We will start to see some of those clouds rolling into West Michigan. We go a little bit later into the nighttime hours and it becomes mostly cloudy tomorrow night with the chance of a couple of showers popping up mainly in the overnight hours. I'm talking about one, two o'clock in the morning as we go into Monday morning. And then as we are going out around eight and nine o'clock for rush hour, a couple of light showers around the area. Not all of us seeing any rain showers out of that, but we go into the afternoon hours and into the evening around seven o'clock and we have a better chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms across our area. They will be widely scattered. Now, when it comes to the rainfall chances, we will see that throughout the week as we have a very unstable atmosphere and we'll have those pop up showers and thunderstorms with the heat and the humidity out there. So today it is still very comfortable dry air out there with those brown colors. But as we get into tomorrow, you'll notice those green colors that's representative on this scale. This legend right here showing the moist air. We will see some of that green picking up in our area and it becomes more humid. We will then start to feel really muggy as we get into our work week Monday and beyond. It is going to be sticky out there tonight. Those overnight lows are going to be in the lower to mid 60s in Wayne County. You get into places such as Washtenaw County. It's in the mid 50s getting into the thumb. We're also in the mid 50s tomorrow getting up to around 88 degrees. It is warm out there. Those winds out of the southeast around five miles per hour. And here's what we have in store for us. Look at that. It is going to be downright hot with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Some areas hitting 90 degrees and we have those chances of showers and thunderstorms going throughout the entire week and it's going to be hit or miss. You know, you might not get in your neighborhood, but maybe if you go across town, you might encounter a shower or thunderstorm. All right, loving those temperatures. Appreciate yeah. it, Rock. <laughs> and you know